On BCIT's aerospace campus, level 6 maintenance and engineering students are introduced to the world of helicopters. I took a tour around this deconstructed helicopter. It's a, it's a great visual uh, aid uh, for people that visit the hangar, because then you can explain to them how a helicopter works. And it's really wide open and it's simple to see. Virgil Umali just finished his 12th month of a 16th month program that he's enrolled in. He is currently a level 7 student. Virgil stepped away from his assignment to show us the basic ins and outs of helicopter mechanics. The deconstructed helicopter features color-coded parts to simplify. The cyclic is used for steering and is colored green. The collective changes the overall pitch of the propeller and is blue. And the tail rotor is controlled by pedals at the pilot's feet and is signified by the color orange. And this green one right here, if you look up, this is your cyclic. This changes the blades on the propeller cyclically. So if I like push down, that should make me go forward. So that will basically push all of the blades. As it turns forward, that like basically just points the blade down, right? Okay, so the rotor must be spinning this way though. Yeah, so it just spins that way. So if you see there's like the, that's like the rotating swash plate on top. Here is your swash plate, right? That has two components. You have the stationary swash plate right here, which is connected to your cyclic, which is green, right? So that changes the, like, the pitch on the individual blades. Then this is your collective. That basically raises the whole swash plate up and down. It's just with a torque tube, so it's just transferring rotary motion into a linear motion, right? What the tail rotor does is basically just provide anti-torque to the propeller, the propeller. So it just stops the helicopter from like spinning the other way the propeller wants it to spin. A different model of helicopter is also on display for students at aerospace. This version is slightly more complex because it features four propellers and a rigid blade system. BL-105 over there is a bit newer, but it would still contain the same controls. You would still have the cyclic, you would still have the collective. Also, the torque, anti-torque pedals, yeah. right? It just depends on the aircraft manufacturer and its design. The B-105 was donated by the Canadian Coast Guard when they ruled it was no longer up to their standards. Forgot about that. Mm -hmm. those, you always find it on the the models allow students Minus to learn in an extremely bank, practical way and, and are equally like appreciated by like staff. They've done an excellent job and it'll probably be here till as long as the school is here.